Hey, it's Texas Buck. Thanks for tuning in for part two of our No Dig Hoop House. And as you can see, Bob, I've already started. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm putting down paper sack, cardboard. You can use newspaper. But if you go with newspaper, don't use the shiny stuff. Use the, the regular newspaper. We want stuff that will biodegrade into the ground that can feed the worms. And so I want to go ahead and let y'all see the almost finished part. Finished but not finished part, but still, this is what we're doing. Um, again, it's a no dig hoop house. The amount of compost that I'm using, I'm going for four to six inches of compost. So we'll see. Again, the reason I'm doing that is because because of the um the cardboard and the paper sack or the newspaper or whatever you're putting down, it's gonna suppress the weeds. And if you can see, I have all this, some of this weed, some of it's grass, some of it's leaves, but I'm not worried about that because I don't wanna dig. So again, I'm putting this stuff down. So it's gonna suppress all that stuff over a year or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue working and I'll check back in with you in a few seconds. All right, we're back. As you can see, I have the, the paper, the cardboard, the, the newspaper, it's all been laid. Now, you can also see that I left a little path right there in the center for that. I'll be using weed guard. So I put, just for, um, so when my wife go in for our harvest, we'll have somewhere to step. So I put weed guard. And again, the newspaper, the cardboard, the paper sack is for weed suppression. But also, I'll be using a mulch. And the mulch that I'll be using is hay. I'll be using the type of um, weed hay. I got that like at Home Depot. So I'll be using we hate for that. Uh, also, I'll be going again for six to eight in inches of compost. You see, I got that piled up over there. You can use a good, I don't have a brand that I really recommend. When I went, I got what they had, but just use a good old age compost, a good manure, cow, chicken, whatever you can find that will work for you. So with that, I'll go ahead and start spreading manure. I'll go ahead and get my weed guard down. And when I'm finished, you'll see the finished product without the vegetables. But of course, I'll let you see that too. I'll check back in shortly. All right, so right now, you probably can see on the inside here, I'm bagging the compost, laying it down. I also forgot to mention that our backyard is on a slope. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it is. So since I don't have the privilege of having a flat backyard, I went ahead and built on the slope. So my thinking is, when it rains and the water runs downhill, that it'll inadvertently water my vegetables as it comes downhill. But if not, I still go inside the hoop house and water by hand. I got a moisture meter, so I'll stick that in the ground and see how much water is actually getting. But Still, I just wanted to mention, just in case you saw it, hey, it's on a slope. Yeah, you're right. It's on a slope. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue working, and I'll check back in. say it's cow picking 86 degrees here in Alabama but the hoop house is complete you see I'm sitting here because I've been working but on my right which is probably your left doesn't really matter but we have collard greens here we have two different types of kale here we have 
an eggplant back here we have a bell pepper growing there we have a cauliflower cabbage bok choy and orange chard now i only have one of each of these right here because i've never really grown them before and i don't really know if i like it yet so you can comment below if you think it's delicious or not and i just take your word for it but in the back i'm sorry we have a tomato back there also if you can see that i um i mulch with the wheat hay between the rows that's to help hold moisture and also when this wheat hay biodegrades it'll feed the dirt so um that's another thing this garden is going to be just straight organic no fertilizers no um um uh, can't think of the word bug killer pesticide pesticides couldn't think it's hot and tired and thirsty but no pesticides it's gonna be straight organic preferably bug free got some flies in here i have an appointment with some big mosquitoes i have an appointment with but other than that um uh, excuse me but um other than that everything looks great so i'm gonna go ahead and step out oh one more thing before i step out um in the back you see this big empty space I have no idea what I want to put there. I'm thinking corn, okra, maybe. I don't really eat cucumbers that much. But um, some type of fruit, watermelon or something like that. It may need a lot of space to, um, to run across the ground. So I haven't decided. But if you have any ideas, go ahead and comment below. And don't forget to, to like, to subscribe. And tell someone about <laughs> talking fast. Tell somebody about me. It's Texas Buck, and I'm out.